What should animals do when they encounter close relatives? How can inbreeding be avoided? Inbreeding is not only unethical, but can also lead to genetic diseases and even cause population collapse. Therefore, in human society, people actively or passively avoid inbreeding. But in the animal world, as the old saying goes, beasts don't recognize their relatives when they mate. So what should a male lion, once expelled from a situation, do when it encounters a close relative when it grows up? How can inbreeding be avoided? Can they still recognize their own relatives? In fact, lions have also evolved survival strategies to prevent inbreeding throughout the course of biological evolution. Let's take a look. For animals, the way they distinguish between the past and the future isn't through memory, but through smell. Lions have an extremely sensitive sense of smell, capable of detecting a variety of odors. They mark their territory by depositing strong-smelling urine and feces along frequently traveled paths. Of course, they can also identify siblings and their mothers by scent. However, in nature, lions primarily avoid inbreeding because, first, female lions remain in the same enclosure from birth to death and are not expelled. Male lions, on the other hand, face constant threat from other males and roam extensively to defend their territories. Second, when male lion cubs reach around two years old, they are cruelly driven out of their enclosures by the king lion or killed as cubs.